Hello everyone and welcome back to, well, for some of you what might be a familiar game, for others might be a totally new game, but uh, it's really not a new game. This is uh, this game has been around for a while. In fact, this game is older than me. So yeah, this is Wolf. It is uh, pretty much the original Wolf video game. And uh, I have been wanting to come back to this series for a long time. I have played it before on the channel. I think we're going to go down to this carcass, by the way. Um, but I've been wanting to come back to it on the channel for a while. It's just been a bit of a difficult series to record and edit. And I think I may have finally found a way around that. So we're going to be trying this out. So uh, what we will be showing here on the channel is these more edited down videos, as of course you guys are used to. However, if you guys want to see the full footage that is uncut and just the... Uh, the way that I've been playing the game, then you can actually go ahead and you'll be able to see that on my second channel, the JPlays2 channel, where I normally upload my longer stream videos, and it'll be just alongside with that. However, it won't have any commentary. It'll just be the game sounds, uh, none of my voice whatsoever, just me playing the game here. So uh, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. I think it'll be fun to kind of kind of try a little bit of a different adventure and uh, to try and play Wolf again because I've really wanted to find a way to make this series work. Uh, but that said, this is uh, this is not quite Vanilla Wolf. Uh, I have spent <laughs> quite a lot of time actually editing the save file here. So this is a world with completely custom uh, NPC wolves and player wolves, as of course you can see we are playing as North here. So let's actually get him back to the den. I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, we have sound now. Uh, we need to see where this is coming from because I do not want to immediately die. Okay, it's this way, so we run up, we get out of the way. Uh, we can actually hear the incoming planes now. We can actually figure out where the where the danger is coming from. And that's important because, uh, yeah, if you guys have seen the previous series or any other wolf gameplay, you'll know that the planes and helicopters are terrifying. They are, they are the worst thing in this game. Uh, there are not a whole lot of threats here. It's mostly just humans of various kinds. Now, this game is an older one, and uh, I think a lot of its purpose was to raise awareness for wolves during a time when uh, they were very, very much not liked. <laughs> and uh, now public perception of them has changed a little bit uh, in no small part, I think, due to games like this or the like Wolf Quest. And uh, I, I think that's that's played a big role. I'm trying to find our den and get used to how this all works again. But uh, yeah. In, at, because of that, humans are pretty much the only threat that I'm aware of aside from, well, running out of food or water or whatever. But let's actually take North back to the den here. I don't know if the other wolves are still around, but we can at least take a look at their stats here in there. I think they might be the wolves that have gone way up that way. Now, I don't see anyone around the den, but let's go ahead and look at our pack here. And you'll see we actually have two other wolves here. So we have North, of course, is us. And here is his stats. Now, I will clarify too, again, this is an older game. You can see there's the ranking system. That is now not what we believe to be scientifically accurate. Uh, more of what we think is the way wolves work is more of what we see in Wolf Quest, where you have the breeding pair and then their offspring rather than unrelated wolves vying for positions of power. But because this is the way the game works, we're going to roll with that a little bit more for the story. So this is North. He is currently the beta male of the pack. And uh, his other two pack mates here are actually Summit, who is the alpha male. Now Summit and North are actually cousins. So their mothers were sisters and they have uh, unrelated fathers. So they dispersed together. They came from kind of a larger pack and they've not exactly been the friendliest. I mean, they're kind of... They're kind of frenemies. They're both rivals and allies. They saw the benefit in working together, but at the same time, they are also kind of vying for the position of Alpha and for the affections of the third pack member we have here, Taiga. So Taiga is an unrelated female that they bumped into. She's the only female in the pack and therefore the Alpha female. She does not have anyone to compete with. So, uh, but these two have been kind of trying to win her affections. You can see that they're all kind of young wolves are all year and four months. It is currently autumn as well. And these are the members of the Orange Leaf Pack. Now there are other, other wolves in the world that we'll be bumping into. There are other packs that we could run into and hopefully will not because they're kind of scary in this. <laughs> the stranger wolves in this game are honestly maybe more terrifying than the ones in Wolf Quest. Uh, but 
North and Summit and Taiga's families are also all out in the world. So if we bump into them, we might get a little bit more info on which those are. Uh, now, also, you can see that there is a counter on the right for all of these wolves, saying how many of each type of prey that they've hunted. And for this series, to make it fair, when I hex edited it, all of them, uh, I rolled a bunch of dice to determine how many of each um, each prey they'd killed. So Summit is probably quite a bit stronger than North right now due to that. He's killed a lot of beaver, a lot of moose, a lot of deer, whereas... Uh, our north here has not killed quite as much. He's killed more rabbits, but he's killed less of pretty much everything else. And the way that stats work in this game, from what I've been told, it's kind of hard to find research on this. Uh, but I believe they depend on your number of kills. So we're going to want to be making sure that we're making different kills throughout here, not just scavenging off of carcasses, if we want to get strong enough to challenge Summit by wintertime, which I think is what north would like to do. Uh, but that said, we're probably going to kind of just chill around. So this game has a, quite a bit of downtime in it. And we'll kind of be passing through that here on the series. But if you do want, want to see what North gets up to in that downtime, other than our little check-ins with him, then uh, you can go ahead and check that out on the second channel. There will be a link to the full video in the video description of this one if you do want to see that commentary-less, uh, non-edited gameplay footage but I'm just gonna kind of let North do his thing and we'll check back in with him in a bit. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not great. Well, I was gonna go looking for the rest of the pack, but I think we're going to, uh, gonna wait for that helicopter to pass. That's not ideal. Um, I'm gonna cautiously approach. If we hear it, we gotta leave though. All right, the wolves are this way. Oh, the wolves have come this way, I think. Oh, here they are. Okay, this is the rest of our pack, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have Taiga, of course, and... Oh, no, 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 no. Where, where? Is it up this way? Okay, I think... That's not maybe great. Um, those sounds usually mean there's some sort of human activity. So we gotta be kind of careful. Are we headed? We're headed back down in the direction of the den. I'm gonna keep a careful eye out. So we saw Taiga as the brown wolf, but I wanted to introduce you, there she is. I wanted to introduce you formally as well to Summit, uh, our cousin. Now these two are about the same age and a little bit of rivalry going on here. In fact, I think if we were able to, we could probably challenge him. Let's just see how that goes. That might be a little bit of a silly thing to do, but, um, We'll just see. I don't know if we'll be able to overthrow him right now because I highly suspect, yeah, North is a little bit, North is a little bit weaker. You can see by that blue bar there. So, oh, yep, we're going to just get attacked. Yep, we do not have anywhere near the strength needed. So let's, uh, let's sub submit there and let's leave because... This is not a fight we want to pick, and we took a little damage from that. Now, the way that you gain more stats in this, I'm pretty sure, is by hunting. Now, I'm not sure we're going to be strong enough to hunt any of these elk. We can see, um, but I think what's going to be our better way of doing it is hunting hares and beavers. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about how the hunting system works. We'll see if we can find some different prey. Let's just run over and see if we can locate this elk here. There it is. Now you can see this lad is just strutting along pretty fine. And if we run up to him, he's going to book it. Uh, he actually hasn't noticed us yet, but he's going to go running off and uh, he's doing all right on his own. Now there are certain... Where is this coming from? Uh-oh. That sounded like a bird call. Um... Oh, and I smell something up there. That could be a trap. There are There are hunters in traps in this game as well as just the planes... So that, that's a bird call, I think. The other one, I think, is like radio static, which indicates there could be humans, so we gotta be cautious. But what I'll show you when I find it, I'm gonna go investigate some of these other elk is, there's some that are a little bit weaker, and those can be easier to take down. So this guy, if we walk up to him here, he's limping, perfect. So if we run up to him, we get nice and close, we actually might stand a chance of taking him down. And I think, oh, he's still, he's still outrunning us though. <laughs> we are not hurt. We have the possibility of becoming hurt. We have to be a little careful here. Uh, so we're, and we're also downwind now. Ooh. 
Let's not go too far that way because there could be a trap there. But you can see that he is limping. And because he's limping, especially if we wear him down a bit here, and we're leaving the territory, wonderful. <laughs> um, if we wear him down a little bit here, we'll stand a better chance of being able to actually take him down. I think we need to be closer than this. Uh, and our stamina is going to start to go as well, so let's slow down. But because he's limping, that's a weak animal, and those are the ones that we want to prey on, because the stronger animals, apparently, if you kill too many of them, you run the risk of not having a, a, enough repopulation happening, and you can run out of food, and you can starve, and because we're going to try to play this as long as we can, uh, hopefully, well, we'll see, we'll see how long North makes it, but I'm planning on playing until he ends up dying of whatever means... Uh, we'd like to survive as long as possible, so let's run up, see if we can get close to this guy here. He's slowing down, I think. Yeah, we're starting to... Are we starting to gain on him? It's a little hard to gauge. Let's see if we can make an attack from here. Oh, now we definitely can. Alright, ooh, it's gonna be close, but I think we may not make it. I think we're just a little bit weaker than him. Oh, we did! Oh, we made it! Okay, so we took him down. And we've got another elk kill to add. So when we see those weak animals, we do want to make those kills. We were a little hungry, so it's worth doing that. I'm going to try not to hunt too much when we're not hungry. But yeah, so that's kind of how the hunting works. That's what we're going to be trying to do is we're going to keep an eye out for those weaker animals. And that is what happens in the wild too, is often wolves will end up preying on the weaker, sicker animals. And so the ones that survive are the ones that end up being stronger and the species as a whole will end up having stronger individuals, which is kind of a brutal way of doing it. But as I've said many times before, nature ain't nice. And it looks like it is nighttime, so we're going to find somewhere to settle down and rest, I think. Alright, I kind of kind of want to figure out where the rest of our pack is, especially because I did, well, I don't smell it now, but I did just smell a human. So the way we can locate the rest of our pack here, if we want to, is we can just howl. And we'll hear different howls, so I assume that's probably ours. Often the closest is, so it's probably one of the two. But we'll investigate the upper one first. We don't find him within a few squares here. Then we will go elsewhere. I just kind of want to see what they're up to. It looks like there's some deer up here, too. Oh, we're leaving the territory, so perhaps, uh... Perhaps they're... Perhaps they're not. Um... Or did we just enter it again? No, we left it. So let's go back in. I think we did just go back in the territory, hopefully. And they're probably the ones who are down this way instead, then. If we howl again... There is one up there. That could be one of the loners wandering around. So there's loners and pack wolves. We'll investigate this howl instead. Uh, loners generally will mind their business. Pack wolves will really wreck your day. So we really don't want to bump into another pack. If we do, we're going to have to basically just run for our lives here. There's a human awfully close here, and I'm not sure I appreciate that. Okay, there, he's below us now. But I don't really like that. Okay, is this my pack? Is this y'all over here? Or is this going to be someone who's going to run us off? Sometimes it's a little hard to tell in this game. Oh, wait. Okay, that's a little worrying. We just got to avoid the human. Alright, we're getting further away. Who are you? It is Summit. Alright. You are who we were looking for. Are you... Huh? Do you have, uh... Oh, is it just the two of us? It might just be the two of us. Why are you running that way? Oh, maybe let's... Let's not go towards the, the human so you can bark to warn of danger. Oh, we're now headed back into the ter... Now we're leaving the territory. <laughs> oh my goodness, we're right on the border, okay? This is right toward the human. I'm not sure we want to be doing that. So let's maybe go down this way instead. All right, Summit, if you want to fool around with the humans, I'm not going to stop you, but I'm not going to stick around either. Just wanted to know what you were up to. And if what you're up to is getting into trouble, I'm not sure I really want to roll in that. Oh, great. Nope, 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 nope. All right, we're going to go this way. Yeah, you can get a little boxed in by humans sometimes. Alright. Hopefully we'll be able to clear him going around this way. 
We probably ought to conserve our stamina a bit too and run, not run quite so much. Oh, I bet that's Taiga, who's the, the seven over there. All right, back into the... No, we left the territory, huh? Oh, okay. Yeah, the territories are sometimes a little hard to identify in this. Oh my goodness. So it'll take me some use to, or some getting used to where the borders are. Oh, this is not Taiga. This is Idania. Oh, she's one of the loners who's wandering around. Okay, okay. Yeah, so we bumped into one of the other characters here that we may. So she is a complete and total loner. You can see she doesn't have a rank. She's also an older wolf, and she's also not in our territory. So best for us just to leave her alone and head back in the direction of our own den. She shouldn't attack us, but it's also really, like, there's not a lot we can do to interact. Well, here's Summit again. I don't know what has happened to Taiga. Taiga's gone off by herself somewhere. She's not... Is she hanging around here? Ooh, there's a storm. No, I don't see her. I guess she's doing her own thing. But we're getting hungry, so we should probably try to find some food, because you can see... Our hunger is definitely going down, so let's look for something to eat, something to hunt if we have to, but I'd also like to make sure we do use some of these carcasses, and unfortunately the one that we can smell here is just a skeleton. This is where we spent the night, and so it's not exactly something we can actually eat. Uh, unfortunately, the even, the even the old carcasses like this one here that you don't have any food left on them, uh, they still show up on scent view, so you kind of have to remember what you've been eating from. And we'll hope, hopefully, this carcass down here, the one that's past the water, is a little bit more, uh, a little bit has a little bit more meat left on its bones. <laughs> well, morning is here, and we found the rest of the pack. I don't know where Summit took off to. He actually took off running off in this direction just before the end of night. Uh, and I don't know where Taiga is going either. She, We finally found her and then she's apparently back from whatever errand she was off on. But now she's right off on her own errand again. And I, 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 think, I think North is pretty curious about what she's up to, what she's doing. And I smell another wolf in the distance, but I'm not sure I wanna go over there and start poking things. Yeah, let's head up here. Oh, there she is. What are you up to, Taiga? What are you up to? Where are you going? We're just gonna tag along for a little bit, I guess, and see where she ends up going. I'm a little concerned about Taiga because she is heading very close to a human. Uh, I think, I think North, okay, good. She's kind of branching away now. North is kind of trying to follow her and going, what, what, what's she doing? We've got some humans lurking around actually, which is not great news in Wolf. Uh, occasionally, oh, I bet she's hunting because it seems like, oh, we're leaving the territory. It seems like there's a lot of really close prey animals and that might be where she's headed. Yeah, she's up here. Uh, so she could be hunting. Oh, there she is. Hello, what are you doing? Are you checking out the different animals here? Oh, she is kind of hungry. Are you weak? Are you weak? No, you're very not. Okay, I was gonna say, maybe this is a good chance for, for North to uh, to show off a bit. Maybe try to uh, <laughs> convince Taiga that he is the, he's the stronger of the two cousins. Oh my goodness, I think she keeps getting spooked by the humans, perhaps. Oh no, she's, she is chasing, she is chasing, look! <laughs> she's running after whatever's right down here. Um, but yeah, uh, the humans in this are have a small chance of just being like campers or hikers or whatever, but it's it's definitely not worth the risk of going to investigate. Oh, she's running straight towards a, a human down there. That's not very ideal. <gasps> oh, goodness, goodness. Oh my goodness, Taiga. She's run right back down toward it. Oh my gosh, wait, no, okay. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Okay, look around. There's a human there. I heard a helicopter down here, I think. Okay, so we're gonna run right back up this way. Oh, Taiga, please be safe. Oh, here's Idania again. Keep checking out what wolves are around here. Oh, I guess we are pretty far from the den, yeah. Uh, but Adania is just hanging out over in this area, I guess. We know where she tends to linger. And we can we tell if Taiga is all right? I guess she's fine. Yeah, she seems like she's doing okay. I guess she must have maybe been hungry or something. 
Speaking of hunger, we should probably find some food too, but I think maybe not tonight. Maybe we save that for the next day. Oh, here's a beaver. Oh, and maybe human noises. That's that's not ideal. But there is a beaver here. Uh, these guys are pretty easy prey if you can't find anything else. Um, I think, yeah, we will uh, we'll try and take this guy down. I hope, I don't know if the what I was hearing about prey applies to small animals too, but a beaver will at least tide us over for a little bit. This is fortunately not the elements pack where we have a little bit of a thing about not hunting beavers. But that said, I kind of would like to try and bring down like an actual carcass. So, well, cause we kind of, we've been eating off of those for a while and we haven't had any for a bit. So I'm gonna kind of poke around and see if we can find any uh, any of these elk or deer that are weak. What in the world? I just heard a growl, was that? Is Summit hunting? Is that what happened here? He's running in the direction that deer just went. It is the middle of the night. I think Summit might be doing a hunt, which is both good and bad news for us because uh, we don't particularly want Summit to be getting a lot stronger. He's already pretty strong. And uh, if he gets too much stronger, we might not be able to challenge him for the position of Alpha. But I guess we'll see. I want to... I think that was Summit. I hope that was Summit, because otherwise I'm running straight for an unknown wolf here, and that would not be ideal. Um, oh, yeah, we're leaving the territory. I think it was Summit, though. It, it definitely was his coat, at least. Oh, he's getting very far away, though, unfortunately. I want to investigate what's going on here, although there is, you, you know, perhaps it's best to just investigate investigate this carcass up here too well there's a beaver here if we can i don't know if we oh yeah, yeah we should be fine as long as we're close enough yep well we got the beaver even out of the water it's nice that you can kind of grab him in the water here unlike wolf quest but i don't know you guys we need to find a way to get our strength up and i think the struggle with that is going to be we don't want to overhunt. We don't want to start taking down healthy animals. We also probably aren't strong enough to take down healthy animals. Uh, but, oh, and there's also cows. If you guys have not seen wolf before, cows are... They they influence the hunters. They make there be more of them. And there's a good chance that those hunters will track you down and, uh, yeah, put an end to things. <laughs> so, but what we're facing right now is kind of a struggle of how to get stronger without overhunting and how to do that before our uh, dear cousin Summit uh, boosts his own strength because eventually we would like to be able to take him on and he did roll a little bit better than that, that better than we did when we were, when I was giving him their stats. Is this, I think this is nighttime. I want to go investigate what's down because I did see a, I did see some sort of prey animal down there and so I want to make sure we go check that out. Uh, and then I think we'll try and get some sleep, try and see how things go, and hopefully we find a weak one sooner or later, and then we can kind of camp the carcass, perhaps. <laughs> There's a deer. Unfortunately, it appears to be perfectly healthy, and I don't want to... I don't want to go too far out of our territory. There is something else this direction, or... Mm, yeah, I think this is our best option. We do need to be careful, though, because the wind is not in our favor. You can see the wind direction is that little in the center there. Um, that, uh, that, that wind icon with the arrow. So the wind is blowing towards the prey animal, which means that we can't tell specifically what it is. We only know that it's prey, and it'll probably pick up on us sooner. Like, this is, a, this is an amazingly detailed game for... For, for how old it is. <laughs> like, this game has been around for a while, but... They did a tremendously good job for its time. They really did. All right, is it behind this hair? Oh, it might... The hair might be the prey animal, actually. And it seems perfectly healthy. All right. Well, in that case, we're going to start heading back towards the den down here again. And, um... And see if we can, uh, see if we can get some rest. Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Is it... It's now below us, at least. Oh, boy. 
That is very not ideal. Very much not ideal. Okay, we've got another wolf over here, too. I was just gonna head in the direction. Oh, is this Summit? Is this who that is? That is indeed. All right. Uh, how is How are his stats <laughs> compared to us? Six moose, five deer, four elk, and 15 beaver, nine rabbit. And compared to us, we do not want to challenge. Oops. I'm forgetting how to press buttons. Uh, compared to us, we have... We have 10 rabbits, 4 elk, 7, seven beaver, two, or 4 moose, and 2 deer. So we definitely need to um, definitely need to work on boosting our own stats a bit more. There is an elk this way. It is kind of near a human, but I want to go check and see if this one is weak. Uh, because that's going to be our best bet, I think, is to try and keep looking for these weaker animals and hunting them when we're able to. Oh, this one's kind of slow. Is it limping? We don't have the most stamina. I'm gonna, I have to slow down, unfortunately, but that might have been limping. All right, if we chase this guy, is he limping? He is, all right. So if we just keep after him for a bit, we might wanna slow down ourselves a little and just continue to follow him because I think this guy's gonna make for a good kill. Is Summit still around? He's a little ways away, so I just don't want him to run in and like kill snipe us or something here. All right, oh, can we get it? Oh, I think we're too far back. No, we're not going to make it. Oh, no, we have to be closer. So, yeah, distance affects it here. Oh, no, we did get thrown off. Distance does affect it here. Did we get hurt? Not not badly. Yeah, we're fine. We just need to regain some stamina. And maybe drink some darn water. All right, here we go. He's still outpacing us, but if we can just run him, and run him a little bit longer until he there, he slowed down. Now we should stand a better chance. Man... It's gonna be close, though. Oh, we may not actually get him. Oh, we did, okay. <gasps> it takes a minute. Maybe what I've thought is a mechanical noise is just the elk. This is an old game, so the sound effects can be a little bit interesting at times. Um, but we have managed to um, have managed to make a kill here. And now we can now we can actually get some good food. <laughs> oh, there is a cow over here. I was like, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then it's just perfectly positioned behind a tree. Now, these guys are extremely easy prey, but hunting them is very dangerous. You can do it at night. However, that will still bring hunters after you, just not as imminently, I'm pretty sure. So we've got plenty of food right here. We're not going to fool around with the car cow, er, car cow, cow carcasses unless we have to. I can't speak, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. Here is Summit once again, and uh, I think Taiga might still be off on another quest of her own again. She seems to do this a lot. She's maybe a little bit tired of the boys bickering, but uh, I think we are going to actually go ahead and wrap up this episode here because it is getting to be about that time again. I hope you guys have enjoyed this return to the world of Wolf. Oh my goodness, Summit. Summit, you keep blocking my way. Okay, he's wandering off again. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed this return to the world of Wolf. Uh, and I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to seeing more of it because I'm looking forward to playing and to hopefully finally actually being able to get through this game. It is, it is a long game. It takes a long time to play, but uh, it is a very ver worthwhile one from what I've seen, and I'm excited to get more used to it and learn more about it and, and to the way that it works, because I, I feel like I've never gotten to properly explore it the way that I've always wanted to. Uh, but with that said, we are going to go ahead and end this off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and to check out the commentary list long version of the playthrough on the JPlays2 channel if you are interested. But I will see you guys next time. And until then, this is Jay, over and out.